wait a second for the AV. All right, the floor is yours. Okay, thanks for coming. My name is Jason Moore. I'm uh, at the University of California, Davis, uh, uh, but not for not much for longer. Um, this is a small package that uh, we put together one summer with the intern in my lab, Chris Dimbia. He's now at Stanford University doing uh, walking dynamics. But uh, I'm a dynamicist, uh, biomechanics, and control engineer, and <clears throat> we often need to uh, know what the inertia, inertia parameters in, of, uh, of humans are. And um, just uh, to go over sort of background, you know, what, what this is for many m motion studies like uh, walking or sports biomechanics, um, anytime you want to understand how, the pers how a person is uh, moving in uh, space, um, <clears throat> if you want to uh, properly complete Newton's second law and, and uh, Euler's equation, you have to have an idea of the mass, center of mass, and uh, moments and product, products of inertia of the human's uh, body segment parameters. And typically, um, the uh, human is, uh, for, for a lot of cases, uh, treating the human body segments as rigid bodies is uh, acceptably a accurate for uh, many studies. Um, uh, common, uh, you know, one of the a problem that you may have seen, right, is the uh, spinning ice skater, right? When she has her arms out, she has a high moment of inertia and pulls her arms in, a low, and the conservation of angular momentum says that she's going to have to spin faster when she decreases her, her moment of inertia. So, but what is her moment of inertia? That's the question that uh, you would really want to know. You can guess at it, but um, there's lots of different methods that uh, estimate this. Um, early on, uh, you took uh, cadavers and chopped them up and actually measured the different uh, body segments and found their center of masses in the, in the inertia. Um, I'm not much of I'm not much interested in doing that, so uh, I'm more on the uh, mathematical side. So we uh, moved to different methods, but there's an array of methods. Uh, you know, the most expensive is like taking an MRI of a person and you can get density information of the body from MRI data. And there's uh, uh, various techniques uh, that have higher accuracy and higher expense. Um, but the last one here, geometrical estimation, is sort of about just making some uh, uh, estimates on what types of geometry uh, a typical human is. Um, having uh, density information from uh, previous sets of MRI data or cadaver measurements, you can put these two together and come up with a very simplified um, uh, a much simpler and faster way and much less expense, much less expensive way to uh, get these parameters that you want that can, that can be successful for many motion studies. So this uh, a fellow named Fred Yeadon in, in uh, his dissertation in 1989 and 90, he had these four papers and the second one, the simulation of area of movement to a mathematical inertia model of the human body. Um, describes a simple model like this <laughs> that um, he used for gymnastic studies and how people uh, did flips and somersaults. And we took this method. Uh, it's actually rather popular. This is the Google Scholar hits. His most popular paper is that paper. Uh, it has a decent number of citations for the uh, biomechanics world. And um, it's used quite often. So, uh, but there was no, um, he had some very old Fortran code that uh, you know, nobody really likes to look at. So we decided, you know, to Pythonize this uh, this uh, method, and um, we uh, wrote a piece of software that makes it easy to work with this method. His his method is uh, based off of segmenting the body up into what are called uh, stadium solids. All of the solids are, um, and I'll show what that is in a second. And then also one semi ellipsoid. And if you um, chop the body up in this and sort of assume that the body can be made up of very simple geometric structures like a stadium solid. Then um, there's an analytical solution for the, uh, the inertia mass and center mass of, of a solid of this nature. So on the left is the 2D stadium um, you know, um, geome geom geometric figure. If you take two of those stadiums, stack them on top of each other, and loft them together, you get a structure that can um, map to um, uh, various human body segments very well. You can make a cylinder out of it. You can make... Um, uh, different size, uh, uh, sort of um, tapered, tapered stadium shapes. And it turns out that um, uh, if you do this, you can you can get a reasonable estimate of of the inertial properties of a human. And uh, this is me taking takes 95 measurements. Um, once you get it down pat, you can do it in 30 minutes for each subject. So 
um, with these studies, you want to get the real, you know, the real parameters for whatever subject you have uh, doing your studies. And so we can um, get these 95 measurements relatively easy. And, uh, and, and also um, the uh, model, uh, you, can, you can separate, the, have uh, many joint angles, but the sort of default joint angles for Yeadon's model is uh, at the elbows, shoulders, um, a couple in the torso, the hips and the knees. And uh, they're all defined with these uh, rotational vectors as shown. So <clears throat> we have a, a Python package that uh, sort of implements this model. Um, we have some uh, classes based in, um, well, to start off with, we have uh, inertia uh, module that just deals with basic inertia things like parallel axis theorem. And then we have a solid pi, I mean, a solid uh, module that deals with the basic stadium shape and all the uh, associated inertia properties for a single stadium. And then we have segments that are made up of multiple solids. <clears throat> and then finally, uh, the top level um, module there, human.py, um, sort of has the uh, meta information for uh, the collection of segments that make up a whole human model. And, um, and finally, we have two interfaces, um, a UE and a GUI, and I'll demo those. Um, it's just based on NumPy, and we use PyYAML to parse uh, input files that have all the uh, measurements. And um, optionally, if you have MyAVI, we can give you a nice 3D uh, GUI toolkit, and then we use a few, few extras there for, that are common for development and testing and such. So uh, to start off, I'll show you a, a little demo of the, AI, the, um, the uh, API. Let me just restart that. Um, so the main object you ever really deal with is just a human. You import human, and um, human is a uh, uh, basic shape. It can take uh, the 95 measurements, the joint angles, and there's a couple options there with regards to density. If you provide these, um, uh, this information, uh, we typically create a, a text file um, to contain all the uh, 95 measurements, and um, so you can keep track of those well instead of just working straight in the uh, in the command line prompt. And um, you can load that. So we've created the human just by uh, loading that text file, and then you start to look at the properties. Right, the human has a mass, he has a center of mass, um, inertia, and uh, this is the the inertia tensor for the whole body, about um, uh, sort of the, the origin point that is at the at the hip, and um, you can uh, check out, too, that these are all the joint angles that uh, would put the person in a general configuration that you might want if you want to put them into the ice skater position uh, to get the inertia. And you can um, visualize that by calling draw, right? And we've got this uh, sort of Yeadon man. This is using my VI. You can take a look. He's just in the default position. Um, and then we can set joint angles, and we'll see that... Uh, now we've, uh, the A1, A2 flexion is the, is the left elbow, I believe. And um, we can take a look now to make sure that we've actually, um, live demos, make sure we've actually bent his elbow. And that's not gonna happen. How do we uh, cancel that? Control M dot. That's. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'll just skip that command. So. Oh, there's a. You can pull down cell run. Okay, um, so trust me, we bent the elbow. I'll show you a visualization later. And then we can see that the inertia and mass changes to reflect, reflect, the, reflect these uh, new properties. We can also look at individual segments and get their masses and inertia, uh, et cetera. And there's some methods there too. If, say if you just want uh, the inertia properties of, from the hip up, you can select uh, all those segments and it'll give you those, those properties. So that's sort of the basic API. We also have um, a... Uh, a little UE, just a text-based UE that you can use to um, interact with the same the API. Just uh, so default, it loads a person, and I can uh, print the joint angles, 
and um, I can print the um, the properties, which is H, right? And it gives me the mass, moment of inertia, etc. So you can you can use the uh, program like this, and you can set the joint angles and uh, draw the draw the human, etc. So, and then finally, um, if you uh, just run uh, run the software. Um, It'll uh, bring, if you have my VI installed, it'll bring up a nice little uh, UE window. And we've got our, got our person here. And, um, <clears throat> and then you've got sliders and such that you can interact and make him, you know, put him into some kind of configuration that you may be interested in, him or her, I guess. And, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe this is the latest diving board uh, thing. But anyways, you, you uh, can... Oops. You can set your person in uh, various configurations, and I think my uh, screen size. But down here, it inter, you know it live live updates the um, the inertia tensor and the uh, center of mass and stuff. So you can get um, all that information. You can load different files, etc., to bring in different people, and um, and uh, so this gives you an interactive way to sort of put the person in into some kind of configuration. So, um, oh my God, I got too many windows open there. So that's all. It's a simple little program to uh, help you uh, get these uh, inertial parameters of a person very rapidly and uh, for reasonable accuracy. Uh, the source code's online. We've got full, nice, nice documentation, screencast. Uh, we've got a little paper we've working on too to s submit uh, soon about it, and uh, the, the source code for the presentation's online. Thank you. Any questions? So I have one. Do people do this kind of work by segmenting pictures, or I mean, the, can you can you avoid the manual part of uh, taking the, the measurements? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there there are techniques of. Um, fo Oh, sorry. Can you avoid the manual measurements that we it takes us 30 minutes per person to to do um, by using some automated technique like taking a photograph or something? Uh, absolutely. Uh, there um, there are photogrammetry techniques and, and various things to uh, take multiple photos of a person or 3D scans and uh, and try to pull that geometry. So that that would be a fine thing to uh, have the ability to do. Thanks. And it's my V, which means. Magician in Sanskrit. Oh yeah? No way to Cool. All right. Any other questions? Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much.